So looking at the sternum, and here we've got one that's articulated, so it's still joined to uh, a rib cage and some costal cartilages. At the top we of course have the manubrium, and in the middle we have the much longer body, and inferiorly the diphoid or diphoid process. And as happens in real life, it's, it's not kind of perfectly even, you know, it's got some bits sticking off it and it does protrude anteriorly just a little bit there. Okay, now then we've got a sternal angle. Remember, of course, that's the join between the manubrium and the body. Then we have a zippy-sternal junction. Now in this, this is, of course, a plastic model, but in this individual, it appears to have fused, okay, because it's all kind of one solid piece, and you will find that in, in the real bones sometimes. Sometimes the, the zipoid process has fused to the body, and there's actually no um, noticeable join there. It's all just one bit of bone. And then, of course, we have, back up on the superior aspect, we have a clavicular notch. Now, on this particular model, there's a clavicle on one side and not on the other, which is perfect because it means we can see the clavicular notch where the clavicle will articulate. And then we can see the costal notches for, and it says for ribs two to seven on your sheet, but of course, it is the costal cartilages that are attaching in there. So these are all costal notches. Then if we look at a real uh, manubrium and... Uh, body of sternum here. Again, you can see those features. So on the manubrium, we have uh, clavicular notches here, and then basically, th there's not much else we can point to there, there's just the manubrium. Then on the body, though, we can see if we look at it side on, we can clearly see those costal notches quite nicely. Okay, so that's the sternum. And then, though, don't forget, of course, that we do have these costal cartilages. So if you're looking at an articulated thorax, you can see these costal cartilages here, um, and these ones coming from the, the false ribs as well. Um, and that, oh no, and then, of course, the costal margin. So the costal margin is just the edge of the rib cage, and it's partly made up by the costal cartilages and partly made up by um, rib 10 there as well. So there's your costal margin. All right.